After maxing my account, I have a lot of goals in mind. Try and master all raids, upgrading my gear and becoming rich. Also, one of my big goals is to get the pinnacle item in RuneScape, the Infernal Nightscape. And for that, I have a very tough opponent ahead. <laughs> Welcome boys to the first episode of the post Max series. As I promised, today we'll be opening some clues that we left behind from our maxing journey. I have some beginner, easy, medium, hard and elites to open. And I'm looking forward to get a mimic because we just need a mimic, finishing up some quests that we left behind and getting to some bosses to finally get our music cape. So for the first part of the episode we'll be doing that and real quickly if you're not subscribed we just got 1k subs so if you like the content feel free to join the channel. Here we are boys at the Varrock East Bank with the homies and I'm super excited to open all these clues and we have 80 beginners, 20 easy, 18 mediums, 25 hearts and 4 elites to open so let's start with this 80 beginner caskets. Okay, nothing special obviously, just some bare feet, but let's see the easy caskets. Ooh, master clue. Man, I don't know if I, I want to do this right now, man. Master clues are so long. Yep, I'm not doing this right now, man. Let's continue with the opening. Okay, we just got trash 385k and we got the master clue, but we are not doing this right now. So let's open the medium ones. Obviously, we want the ranger boots. Let's pray for it. Yep, as expected, no luck on the ranger boots, but let's continue to open. Now the 25 hard caskets, let's go. Okay, we already have 3 million out of all these clues. Let's see the elite ones now. We can get the mimic from this one, so let's see. And the first one, it's a mimic, bro. What the hell? That's so lucky. It's the first time I'll kill it, so I'm not sure which type of attack to use. I'll use range. Let's see how the blowpipe works here. Let's enter, fight the mimic. Let's go, boys. Yo, that's a music unlock. Bro, I'm not sure which projection prayer to use here. I think he uses the, the three attack styles. Ooh, gotta watch out for those ones. Okay, and that's the mimic kill. Always pick up the plank for good luck, right? And let's see what we get. Let's see, let's see. Okay, 224k clue. Ah, nothing special, bro. No worries. I really wish I get this pet bro, this pet is one of the rarest in the game I think and it's really cool also. Okay, let's finish this clue opening, we still have 3 elite caskets. Let's open them. 3... 
DDS and some purple sweets. And another mimic, bro. Nice. Well, let's do it. Ooh. 36 there. And... Magic, it's much, much better, bro. Playing for good luck. Good luck, good luck. Hey, my first third age item, bro. And it's the ring. <laughs> it's the worst one, but hey, I'm not complaining. <laughs> yep, two and a half million. It's a collection log, so I'm happy. Now I can fool some people on a grand exchange. I can be like the dra Dradic top. Yep. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Para <laughs> Free, free you. <laughs> <Doing it. laughs> okay, so from this opening we got 3 million and 700k. I'm not counting with a ring. And yeah, let's do this master cool. Bro, I never did this one. I think this puzzle is the worst. I saw a video on YouTube and the only way to do this it's like... Yep, that did a trick. Random clicking all the way. Yep, casket. Let's see what we get from this one. And as usual, nothing special. Okay. Well, boys, it's time to sell everything. Let's go. Okay, and that's every single item sold. And we have on our bank 167 million. Nice. It's a pretty healthy cash stack. Okay, let's get to business. We have eight music tracks to unlock. So let's see here. We have to unlock this track in The Nightmare, this one in Bryophyta, and all of the other ones in The Path of Glowfree quest that I didn't do because. I'm lazy, I don't know. So yeah, boys, let's start with the Nightmare one. I will try to do a Nightmare without food and equipment. Let's see how it goes. Just kidding, bros. There's the track. And let's get out of here. <sighs> Finally, bro. I got like 173 of them. I don't remember this being so slow. But okay, we have the key. Let's go kill Bryophyta. There it is, the music unlock. And she's down. We've got a clue scroll. A beginner one. Not very interested in those ones. We also got some combat tasks. Nice. Well, now we just need to complete the path of Glowfree. Uh, okay. There it is. Quest completed. Hey, and we reached 300 quest points. Beautiful to see. Wow, 20k Slayer experience. We could have used that one instead of a genie lamp to max... I didn't know that lamp was a quest rewards, but yeah, now it's too late. And as you can see, boys, no tracks remaining, so we can get our music cape. What's up, bro? Long time no see. Give me my cape, man. Nice. Beautiful. Well, boys, before the episode ends, I just want to show you my bank because for the next episodes, I will try to make as much money as I can. So I will show you now how my bank is and how we're starting. So let's go. So let's start on the first tab. We have all the stackables. I have all my money here. I have all the things that I can stack. Zora scales, for example, abyssal pearls from the gardens of the rift, purple sweets also like uh, ancient shards, dark totems, heads from monsters, everything that I can stack, I put here. The next tab, we have all the runes, all the teleports, all the capes that have teleports, my divine rune pouch, and basically all the things that I did have teleports. Next tab is the potion tab. I have all the potions that I use here, all organized with doses because I like to see this like this. Next tabs, I put magic, melee and range separately. First magic, 
I have all my magic things here, my magic gear. I want to change this one for ancestral, but ancestral right now, it's crazy money. So I have to make money, of course. And in the future, I want to have a uh, Tumacan Shadow and a Sanguinesti Staff, for example. But yeah, next up, we have melee. We have all the melee things here. Obviously, I want to change this for Torva. I want to get my 500 level Osmantan's Fang. And basically, I, ha I want to have all max gear here, like a scythe and everything. Also, I have my Slayer Helmets here. I have one Slayer Helmet remaining. It's the Hydromon and I want to have it in the future. Next one, I have the range tab. I have all my ranged stuff here, of course. I want to change this for Mazori. Obviously, I want to have a Zerat crossbow. I want to have a twisted bow in the future, of course. That's also crazy money, but with patience, we get there. Next tab is the utility tab, the scaling tab. I have all my scaling stuff here, like the axes, pickaxes, dragon harpoons, crystal saws and everything, all the gloves all the fishing stuff, all the farming stuff, but to be honest, I will not use this as much because I'm maxed now, I don't want to skill, so I think I'm saying goodbye to this tab. Next one is the outfit tab, I have all my gracefuls here, I have all my capes here, I have the ring that I got on this episode, I have all my outfits, my skilling outfits, really beautiful, I like this tab, and I also have some items here, but yep. Next tab is the loot tab. I put all my loot here. You guys already know this one because you saw it on the previous episodes. I put all my Slayer loot here. So yeah, this one is very simple. And the last one, I don't know what this is, like crazy outfits or event outfits. I don't know. Strange things, I, I put them here. I also have a tiny collection of gold rings. So if you guys want to give me gold rings, I accept it. <laughs> but yeah, this is my bank, boys. It's 684 million. Wait, 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 wait. 710 million so we are starting this money making series with 710 million i hope you guys enjoyed this little video i'm planning to do a lot more and i have a lot of things to do in the future so stick around stay tuned and i'll see you in the next one take care guys